Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into add delete mapping annotation. Well, delete HTTP method is used to delete the resource and delete mapping annotation for mapping HTTP delete request to a specific handler method. Specifically, add delete mapping annotation is a composite annotation that acts as a shortcut for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP delete method. Well, we use add delete mapping annotation to map the incoming HTTP delete request to a specific handler method and delete mapping annotation is a shortcut annotation for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP delete method. Well, let us go ahead and let's create an example to understand more about delete mapping annotation. So let's go to our project in Inkly's idea and go to book controller over here and here let's quickly create one REST API. So here let us type public and let's give response entity as a return type and let us pass string as a type and then let us give method name as delete book all right and let us pass book id as a method argument next here let us have a return statement return response entity and it has a ok method so this ok method internally provides http you know 200 ok status next let us pass some string in the body let us say book deleted successfully well in real time project basically we call the repository to delete the you know book from the database table but this is the you know simple example to demo demonstrate the usage of add delete mapping annotation so we don't have to use any database operation over here all right perfect next here what we'll do we we'll print this id to the console now we have created a method that returns book deleted successfully message to the client. Next, let us make this method as a REST API by using Spring annotations. Well, traditionally we were using add request mapping annotation to map the incoming HTTP request to this particular method, right? So let us use add request mapping annotation and let us use its value attribute to specify the URI. So here slash books slash delete slash ID. So this is the standard URI for this REST API. Next, let us use method attribute to specify the HTTP, you know, delete method. So here let us call request method dot delete. All right. So traditionally we were using add request mapping annotation to map incoming HTTP delete request to a specific method. Later, Spring 4.3 introduced a new annotation that is add delete mapping annotation, which is a shortcut for this add request mapping annotation plus HTTP delete method. All right. So instead of using this add request mapping annotation plus HTTP delete method, let's use the shortcut annotation that is add delete mapping annotation. So here let's use add delete mapping annotation. And whenever we use add delete mapping annotation, then we don't have to specify the HTTP method over here. So this is the shortcut annotation. All right. Next, if we dive inside this delete mapping annotation code, you can able to see here delete mapping annotation is annotated with add request mapping annotation plus HTTP delete method. It means delete mapping annotation is a shortcut annotation for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP delete method. All right, perfect. Well, notice here the annotation name delete mapping. Well, the name of this annotation itself says like this annotation is used to map the incoming HTTP delete request to this particular method. All right. Next, within this URL, we have ID. So this ID is called URI template variable, right? Next, we need to bind the value of this URI template variable to this method argument. So in order to do that, we use add path variable annotation. All right, perfect. Next, let us go ahead and let us rerun our Spring Boot application and let us see how this add delete mapping annotation works. So from here, I'm going to stop and rerun the Spring Boot application. Well, our Spring Boot application is up and running in embedded Tomcat server on port 800. Next, let's go to Postman next client over here. And here, let's create a new request. And here, let's choose HTTP delete method. And let's enter the URL HTTP localhost 800 slash API slash books slash delete. And then pass book ID. Let us say one. Next, click on send button. And there we go. REST API return the response book deleted successfully. And the HTTP status 200 OK. Next, let's go to IntelliJ idea and you can see in a console the book ID one is printed. 
All right, so this is how we use add delete mapping annotation to map the incoming HTTP delete request to this specific method handler. All right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.